This video is supported by the Motocross Network magazine. If you want to support us directly, visit themotocrossnetwork.com and buy a copy of our magazine. January 2023 edition is out now. Check it out. Anaheim 1 was quite a race and lived up to the hype. Lots of fantastic battles, crashes, and upsets throughout the night. One of the unfortunate storylines of the night was Austin Forkner's violent crash off the start of the 250 main. Over the past few years, Forkner's career has been spent in the hospital for the most part, whether it's his fault, someone else's, or just a race incident. He seems to have the worst luck I've seen in the 250 class as of late. Although we haven't gotten an update on his condition as of the time I'm recording this, he most likely has some injury. Although we have yet to hear Forkner's side of the incident, we do have a statement from both podium finishers that started next to him, Cameron McAdoo and RJ Hampshire. Before we hear what they had to say regarding this incident, let's watch Austin Forkner's violent crash from a new perspective. The more I watch that clip, the more possible injuries I see coming from this. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, let's look at Forkner's competitors had to say regarding the incident. Here's what his teammate Cameron McAdoo said in the post-race press conference. Uh, I saw a video of it afterwards. I, I think I kind of had a wheel on it, so I, I think I felt someone maybe hit me. Maybe my back wheel or something, but um, I didn't know a whole lot. I just obviously came around in the whoops at the first lap and saw him down, so that was all that I really was involved in. After that, Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider RJ Hampshire also responded to this question regarding Fortner's crash. Here's what he said. Yeah, I don't think either of us, it was kind of either of our, our faults. Uh, he kind of leaned on me a bit to the left, and there was a big gap to the right. Um, and he went right, and Cameron just happened to be there, and, and it's a left-handed turn. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a bummer. Like, I feel bad for him. But, yeah, I don't think you can kind of blame either of us for that. I fully believe that this was just a racing incident and that there really isn't anybody to blame. Hopefully we get an update on Forkner's condition soon. Once we do, we'll forward the information to you guys. What do you guys think of the Forkner situation? Who's to blame? Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below.